Hey guys, it's Tate here with the car guys, and I'm um, just giving you my my top eight list. I got second place after Swiss. I started off 8-0, and I lost the last round to the near match. Um, I just didn't draw anything, and uh, just I got wrecked. <laughs> but I went 8-1 eight, eight, eight after nine rounds of Swiss. Uh, I played Paleo's Oak Frogs. The deck I've been playing since Minneapolis. Uh, the deck's fantastic. In my opinion, it's the best deck in the format. Uh, if you know how to play it and know how to deck build. Uh, so let's just get into the deck. And I think standard, three swap, uh, three dupe, and two rodent toad. And this is the correct ratio because you have to play three of each of these to so summon off of uh, tree toad. And only two of these because you don't want to draw them and they're just dead most of the time in your hand. And then I made like two gamma seal. This was probably the MVP, MVP of the day. Um, the theory behind it was it's a, a, it's a water that you can discard a swap plug if you need to just to make the tree toad essentially. Um, and also, if you have this and a tree toad play, you can kaiju them, summon a tree toad, crash with this, and get the kaiju back. And it just sets up so much versatility. There's so many ways to get this card back, even if later in the game you can't make a tree toad play. If the tree toad goes to the graveyard, you can add it back later. It's just such a versatile card, and definitely the best card in my deck all day. Uh, it's 10 monsters, spells. Three desire, only three spells. Definitely the best card of the format. Staple. Yeah, no explanation there. Uh, then the Paleozoics, we run three Dynamiscus. This is the Karma Cut, one of the best ones. And the two best ones are these two. Uh, this is the MST and this is the uh, Karma Cut. Uh, it can hit up spells, face up spells too, and like pendulum scales. So it's just a really good card overall. Uh, and then uh, three of this. I'm probably gonna cut this down to two. It was, it was kind of clunky, but like, it's it, it, iffy, one, two or three. Um, Two Book of Moon one, uh, just needed against certain matchups like BA, this card wrecks BA because their monsters are face down. Uh, two Foolish, I don't want to play three because like you only want to use this card to send the other one because it's not good thinning out your deck too much. And then one of this guy, this guy returns Banish Card to the graveyard so you can uh, you can make a uh, Opabinia and then search this and activate this to send the fog back that you made it with and chain a trap so it essentially gets you an Opabinia and a uh, Tree Toad. And next, three barrier. Uh, this, this card is the best card on the format. Like, not it's a channel advantage. I'm this to any type. It, it's just god. This card's broken. Uh, three reckless greed. No legacy out of grass. No jar of greed. This card's just infinitely better. Do it on your draw phase. You're drawing three cards for turn. It, it, it's unreal. Uh, three quaking. Uh, this was just like added in there. Like I, I, I like this card personally, but like it could be added. It could be switched out for stormy mirror force, uh, drowning mirror force. Uh, I, just, I haven't got a chance to test those cards, but um, they're probably coming in for these. Uh, it was okay. Uh, Wabakum, I was playing Threatening Roar for like a slight second, but like this card's just that much better. Uh, and the fact that you can use this on your turn if you have to. And also, uh, there, it's a downside because things like BA and anything that gets battle phase effects, they'll, they'll get it off this. But like being able to use this on your turn is good. Like if they have a Babunku, you can just activate this, summon a trap, and crash with it, and your guy survives. So there's an added plus to it. And I just like this one more, to be honest. Uh, two strike and a warning. Uh, I know you can't change them, but like pendulum decks are running rampant. Metaphors being the uh, best deck. But uh, I, I just think you have to play these for that matchup specifically. Uh, and tech card exceed reborn this card brings back tree toad and any dead opabinia and it triggers your trap card so i thought it was a really good one of i usually cited it out game one uh game two and three but it was just amazing to see game one most of the time how many cards is that uh 42 cards and the extra uh three totally awesome uh, yeah you just, it, <laughs> three of these the place. Place. uh three opabinia i I, I, I was worried about this card getting striked and warning too much, so I bumped it up to three, but it's not really necessary. I didn't feel like I, I ever needed the third one, so you can cut this for something else. Probably Degusta Phoenix. Uh, two of this guy. I summoned two of this guy a lot. This guy's a lot better than a lot of people think. Uh, just being able to pop cards and exit top card of your deck every time you activate a trap card, it's just it, it's really good. Uh, one of the most made exceeds, Cat Shark. This card made Tree Toad 4400, and it just produced a lot of OTKs for the deck. Uh, this card uh, is just good against exceeds that are on board, and also for bouncing your Kaiju that's in the deck. You're out to Denka Seka. Uh, All right, right players. Here. At this time, standings are being posted. Um, yeah, Once standings are posted, out to, you have three Denka. minutes to confirm uh, them. If you find any discrepancies, zero, please bring them up to our attention. Cherry if they are not brought up to our attention within because three minutes, play. standings will be final. These guys. Once standings Cherry's are final, if you place first, uh, 
through 30 seconds. Please have a seat at the table number that matches your place. All right, we're judges like, will be around uh, with paperwork to help. All right, who's here? Self-explanatory. Uh, three Everyone system else, staple. Thank you for coming out. The room is now closed. I played these for Dark Lords because I thought this was gonna be a prevalent deck. Um, no, no really. Near. And against the hero deck, it's just good. Uh, double twin, self-explanatory. Double anti-spell for the uh, penalty matchups. And this against literally everything, but mainly the mirror. All right, the card was phenomenal. Three minutes starting now. <laughs> And that's it guys, uh, shout out to Car Guys, best team in the world. Shout out to my boy Aaron, who actually like pushed me to play, because I wasn't going to play this event, I just came here to chill. But um, yeah, and that's it guys, catch you later, bling black.